I'm starting to record. We're going to be doing flow with some power options today. Today is Friday. So um, I'm excited about the fact that it's Friday and it's gorgeous here. And I hope that you have gorgeous weather wherever you are. Um, we're going to start with the soles of our feet together, knees out wide. I'm going to make sure that my screen is correct here. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing in to a four count. Holding to a four count. And exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats, down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies. As though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, Allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale, knees to the left, 
arms to the right, look over that right shoulder and breathe. Breathing into this simple twist. Again, releasing toxins, opening up those right obliques. Inhale back to center. Exhale, knees to the right, arms to the left. Look over that left shoulder and breathe. Again, breathing into this simple twist, releasing toxins, massaging your internal organs. But you have to remember to breathe. Inhale back to center, wrap your arms around your knees, grab opposite elbows, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. And then grab your insteps, drag your knees down towards your shoulder blades, push up with your feet, pull down with your hands and happy baby. Again, maybe rocking back and forth, massaging that lower back kidney area. Good job. And then from here, bend your knees, flex your feet, arms come up overhead. Inhale first. Exhale as you cross over. That right arm goes over that left knee. Extend your right leg. Flex your foot. Inhale back. Exhale, cross over with that left arm. Extend that left leg. Inhale back. Exhale to the left. Inhale back. Exhale to the right. Inhale back. Exhale to the left. Inhale back. Exhale to the right. We're going to do two more or seven more, depending on where you are. Inhale back. Exhale to the left. Inhale back. Exhale to the right. Inhale back. Exhale to the left. Inhale back. Exhale to the right. Again, you can either draw those knees in or follow us. Inhale back. Exhale to the left. Inhale back. Exhale right. Inhale back. Exhale left, inhale back, exhale right, inhale back, exhale left, inhale back, exhale right. Again, two more, if you're with us, exhale to the left. Such a inhale back, exhale right, inhale back, last one, exhale to the left, inhale back, exhale to the right, good job, draw those knees in, give yourselves a hug, rock back and forth, good job. Inhale first, exhale as you extend those legs down below. Roll over onto the left side, left elbow, left palm of your hand down. Inhale as you draw that right knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you, drag that right shoulder back and down. Again, in infinity pose, breathing in and out. 
Inhale that right knee in. Exhale, extend below you, roll over. Onto the right side, right elbow, right palm of your hand down. Inhale that left knee in. Grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you. Drag that left shoulder back and down. Breathing in and out in infinity pose. Where you see the lights coming down in you like a heavy weight. Inhale that left knee in. Exhale, extend in front of you. Roll over onto your back. So place your hands behind your thighs. Spinal rolls from shoulder to tailbone and back again. Allowing each vertebrae to come back into alignment. We'll do three or four of these. And then arrive at the tops of our mats in Sukhasana, simple seated pose. Good job, everyone. Place your hands on your knees. Inhale, add the left arm all the way up. Exhale down onto that right elbow and smile, look up towards the ceiling. Drag that left shoulder back and down. Drag that left hip down. Opening up those left obliques again. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. Inhale that right arm all the way up. Exhale down to the left. Look up towards the ceiling. Drag that right shoulder back and down. Drag that right hip down and smile. It's Friday, yay, whatever that means. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. Inhale that right foot up on top of your left thigh. We're in half lotus. You can also put that right foot out in front of your left foot. Inhale both arms up. Twist to the right and exhale as you bring that left elbow down. Open up. Bend that right elbow. And take a bind. Again, breathing in and out. Inhale back up to center. Exhale down. Reach, 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 reach. Hinge with your hips. Place your fingertips on the mat and drag your heart down. Maybe placing that third eye on the mat. Massaging it by rocking your head back and forth if that's in your practice. Inhale as you walk those hands up. Exhale as you walk them to the right, grabbing onto the right knee with your left hand. Bring that right hand back, or possibly take a bind. Wherever you are is perfect. Twisting, releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs, which you have to remember to breathe. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you release that right foot. Inhale that left foot up. You can either sit in half lotus or in sukhasana with that left foot in front of your right foot, whichever way you are is perfect. Inhale both arms up. Twist to the left and exhale as you bring that right elbow down. Open up as much as you can. Bend your elbow. Find that right hip crease. Inhale, 
Inhale all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. Fingertips come down. Drag your hearts down. Breathing in and out. Opening up those shoulders, lower backs and your hips. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk them to the left, grabbing onto the left knee with your right hand. Bring that left hand back, or maybe take a bind if this is in your practice. Again, twisting, releasing toxins. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you release that foot. Let's place the soles of our feet together, knees out wide. Sitting up straight, grabbing onto our toes, drag those elbows in. Inhale first, flat back. Exhale as you fold forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, reach, reach with the crowns of your head. Walk those hands out if this is in your practice. Into Baddha Konasana. Inhale, all the way back. Exhale as you extend those legs and shake them out. Good job. Come back to Sukhasana. Place your hands on the mat. Roll up into table. Again, in table, our shoulders are above our wrists. Our hips are above our knees. And if we look between our legs, we shouldn't see our feet. I'm going to tuck my shirt in. Walk those knees back. One hand's length. Inhale, burst. In table. Exhale as you draw yourselves back towards your heels in Balasana, child's pose. Maybe place your third eye on the mat and massage your third eye by rocking back and forth. Inhale all the way through, dragging those spines down, shoulders back and down to Cobra. Look up towards your third eye. Exhale all the way back to Balasana. Inhale all the way through to Cobra. Hips come down, shoulders back and down, looking up towards your third eye. Exhale back one last time to Balasana. Inhale all the way through. Drag those spines down, shoulders back and down. The cobra. Exhale back to the table. Walk those knees forward. Look out just beyond your mat. Inhale first. Exhale as your hips come to the right. Look at your left foot. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Look at your right foot. Opening up those hips. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Good job. Inhale to center. And then from here, curl those toes under. Sit back. Now you can either leave your knees on the mat or be in a balance. Again, we're going to try to be here for one minute, opening up those toes. You can either have those knees on the mat or you can bring them up. Dragging our shoulders back and down if you're up. If you're down, drag those shoulders back and down as well. 
Breathing in and out. Improving our balance as we do so. You're gonna help me make a stand. Breathing in and out. My body's aching and my time is at hand. I won't make it any other way. Good job, everyone. Keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Rock forward onto your elbows. Slap out your toes. Curl your toes under. Plant those palms into the mat. Drag your chest back towards your thighs. In our first Ardha Mukha Shavasana, dragging our tailbone up towards the heavens, flattening out our backs, pressing into the mat, both with the palms of your hands and that area in between your index finger and thumb. Maybe walking the dog, lifting first one heel and then the other, dragging the other heel down. Good job. And then from here, walk up halfway. Inhale that left arm all the way up. Exhale, cross under, grabbing that right ankle. Again, you can either stay here or inhale that left leg up behind you as high as you can. Pulling into that right ankle to rise higher in standing splits. Inhale back, exhale first. Inhale that right arm all the way up. Exhale, cross under, grabbing that left ankle. Inhale that right leg all the way up behind you. Drag yourselves in as much as possible to rise higher. Exhale down. Good job. Walk those feet back. Into down dog. Bend your knees. Coming into bear. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Shoulders back and down. Step or jump up. Inhale. Halfway up. To Arda. Flat back. Shoulders are back and down. Exhale down to Uttanasana. Standing forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Slightly bend those knees. Swan dive backwards. Hands come together. Slight back bend. Hands come to Anjali Mudra. Bowing our heads in honor of our practices. Good job. We're going to do this three times. Surya Namaskar A. So follow me. Or maybe close your eyes. Use this as a moving meditation. I'm going to turn the music down just a bit. Inhale your arms all the way up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up, shoulders back and down. Step or jump back. Go through your vinyasa. Or meet us in down dog. Come up on your tippy toes, step or jump up. Inhale, halfway up to Arda. Exhale down to Uttanasana. Inhale all the way up, swan dive backwards, hands come together, and then exhale down. Inhale halfway up. Step or jump back. 
go through your vinyasa or meet us in down dog. Good job. Come up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, step or jump up. Inhale, halfway up. Look towards the front of the room. Exhale, down. Inhale, all the way up. Swan dive backwards, hands come together. Exhale, down. Last one. Inhale, halfway up. Step or jump back. Go through your vinyasa or meet us in down dog. Good job. Come up on your tippy toes, bend your knees. We're going to close it out. Step or jump up. Inhale, halfway up. Look towards the front of the room. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up. Swan dive backwards. Hands come together. Slight back bend. And hands come to Anjali Mudra. Bowing our heads in honor of our practices. Good job. When we have summer solstices, I used to have classes where we do 108 of those all at the same time. And it took a while and I was sore the next day, but it's a lot of fun to do. We're not going to do that today. <laughs> Just in case you're interested, that's something that people do. So if you'd like to try to challenge yourself, see if you can do 108 at the same time. Let's go ahead and stand in Tadasana at the top of your mat. Throw all four corners of your feet into the earth. Good job, lift those toes. Calf muscles moving inward. Thighs are moving inward. Pelvis down the back, abdomen is in. Our shoulders are back and down. And the crowns of our heads are moving towards the heavens. Hands are open to receive. Good job. Find that drishti or your focal point. Draw those hands together into Anjali Mudra. Come up on that right tippy toe. Draw that right heel to your left ankle. Your left calf or your left thigh. Good job. By the way, I forgot to say Surya Namaskar A is Sun Salutation A. That's why we do it for the, uh, for the um, summer equinox. Good job. Inhale both of those arms all the way up above you into Talasana or Palm Tree. Pinky fingers are in. Bring those hands together in the Utita. Inhale first. Exhale down. Good job. And then from here, let's go ahead and bring that knee to a marching position. Grab onto your toe with your left hand. Extend that right leg and reach back with your right arm. In Padangushtasana, maybe look to the back of the room if this is in your practice. Bend your knee, come back to a marching position, and then spread your wings as we fold forward into Virabhadrasana three. Extend that leg behind you. I can't, unfortunately. Inhale back up again into a marching position. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And exhale down. Good job. Shake it out. We'll do the other side now. Standing in Tadasana first. All four corners of our feet 
are growing into the earth. Lift your toes. Hands come to Anjali Mudra. Come up on those left tippy toes. Draw your left heel to your right ankle, to your right calf, or to your right thigh. Rikshasana A, B, or C. Throw those arms overhead into Talasana or palm tree. Maybe the Uttita, draw those hands together as you inhale. Exhale down. Draw that knee into a marching position. Grab on to that left toe with your right hand and extend as you exhale. Extend that left leg behind you, maybe look behind you. Exhale as you come back to a marching position. Inhale first. Exhale as we fold over into Virabhadrasana 3. Extend that leg behind you. Inhale all the way back up again into a marching position. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And exhale down, release that foot, shake it out. Good job, everyone. Coming up to the tops of your mats. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, slow that down. Inhale, halfway up. Step or jump back. I'm going to tuck in my shirt first. Go through your vinyasa. Or meet us in down dog. Walking the dog, flattening out your backs. Good job. Inhale, that right leg all the way up. Exhale, swing it through to a lunge. Plant that back foot, 45 degree angle. Inhale, all the way up. To the uh, one, warrior one. Draw that right hip back, left hip forward. Pinky fingers in. Draw your hands behind your back. Venus mudra. Shoulders back and down. Inhale first. Exhale, humbly bow yourselves inside of that right thigh. Dragging the crowns of your heads down towards the mat. Allowing your wrist to fall towards the center of the room with gravity. Good job, everyone. Draw those wrists back towards your waist. Open up, north and south. Side angle. Take a wrap. Maybe take a bind if this is in your practice. Look up towards the ceiling, drag that right Excuse me, that left shoulder back and down as much as you can. And smile, it's Friday. Good job. Open up, north and south. Look down. Inhale all the way up to the Arvidrasana two. Hips are squared to the sidewall. That foot should be parallel with the front of the mat. Reach, 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 reach. Palm up. Exalt that warrior. Lift your hearts to the sky. Release toxins. Exhale back. Cartwheel those arms down. Kick that right leg back. And go through your vinyasa. Or meet us in down dog. Good job. Inhale through your noses, side out. Inhale. One more time. Inhale. Inhale that left leg all the way up. Three-legged dog split. 
Exhale, swing it through. Plant your back foot, 45 degree angle. Inhale up to Virabhadrasana one. Good job. Left hip back, right hip forward. Draw those arms to Venus Mudra. Shoulders back and down. Inhale first. Exhale, humbly bow yourselves. Inside of that left thigh. Crowns of your heads come down towards the mat. Maybe your wrists come towards the center of the room with gravity. Draw those wrists back towards your waist. Open up, north and south. Side angle. Good job. Take a wrap. Maybe take a bind, grab onto that right wrist. Drag that right shoulder down towards the mat. Inbound, side angle. Open up, north and south. Look down. Inhale all the way up to Virabhadrasana two. Check that back foot, it should be parallel with the front of the mat. Reach, 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 reach. Palm up, exalt that warrior. Lift your hearts to the sky. Exhale back, cartwheel those arms down. Take that left leg back and go through your vinyasa or meet us in down dog. Good job, inhale through your noses, side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. Good job. And then from here, let's go ahead and inhale that right leg all the way up. Exhale to the top left of your mat, right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. We're moving into resting pigeon. You can move down on your backs as well. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Maybe take Venus Mudra. Exhale forward. Humbly bow yourselves. Coming down on the left cheek. or wherever you are. Again, you can be on that left cheek, on your elbows, on your right cheek. You can be on your backs with that right bent, right knee bent. Breathing in and out in resting pigeon. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Come off on that right hip. Swing your left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in and that right elbow in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find that right hip crease. Possibly take a bind if this is in your practice. In the Mariandrasana twist. Breathing in and out, releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. Inhale, 
as you open up, extending that left leg out to the side, draw that right heel in, exhale first, inhale both arms up, twist to the left, on your shashasana, chin to shin, and then just curl in. Again, possibly place that right hand over your right kidney, sending it the breath, if that's in your practice. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you cross over, grabbing that right knee with your left hand. Open up to the back of the room. Flex that left foot, twisting, releasing toxins. Inhale that right arm up and over. Find those left toes in twisted jumper shasana. Inhale, that left arm through. Exhale down, chin to shin. Again, traditional Danya Trishasana. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend that knee, twisting to the front of the room. Come up into Malasana, yogi squat. Again, as flat a back as possible. Shoulders are moving back and down again. Lift those toes if you can. Possibly move into Vakasana. Toe pose. And while in crow pose, maybe count down 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Coming back into the asana. Inhale from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra and exhale down again inhale and exhale one more time inhale and exhale place your hands on the mat good job inhale halfway up job, Ardha Tadasana. Take a giant step back with that right foot. Walk your left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right knee down. Right top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back to Royal Pigeon. Maybe take Venus Mudra. Inhale first. Exhale, humbly bow yourself. Drawing that right cheek down to the mat. In a full body twist, if that's in your practice, don't feel like you have to. Good job, everyone. Again, five different ways that I know of to do resting pigeon or pigeon. On your bellies, on your backs, on a chair, up the wall or you can do them in a balanced position as we did the other day. Kicking that leg backwards. So this would be that right leg balancing on your elbows. So one elbow and hooking your left foot onto your right elbow. Good job, everyone. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Coming up on that left hip. Swing that right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to the left thigh. Bring that left foot in and that left elbow in. Inhale that right arm up. 
and around. Find that left hip crease or maybe take a bind if this is in your practice. Mario draws in a twist, releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you extend that right leg. Drawing that left heel in. Inhale, both arms up. Twist to the right. Exhale down. Reach, 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 chin to shin. And then just melt. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you cross over, grabbing that left knee with your right hand. Open up to the back of the room, twisting, releasing toxins. Inhale that left arm up and over. Find those right toes and twist to Janya Shrishasana. Inhale that right shoulder through. Exhale down to traditional Janya Shrishasana once again. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend that left leg. Shake it out. Good job, everyone. Now we're moving down on our backs. Fixing my mat. I got it all stretched up. Big breeze. Make sure this is okay. Grab your block. Stay here, do so. If not, place your, the soles of your feet on the mat. Inhale first. Exhale, inch by inch. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Down to the mat, and when you get there, draw those knees in for a much deserved hug. Rock back and forth. Good job. Place your heels just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push your hips up, placing that block underneath. Release onto it in a supported bridge. Again, you can be here. You can also do a regular bridge. You can also do a wheel if that's in your practice. Wherever you are is perfect. Again, if you're here in a supported bridge, you can stay here or you can walk your heels out. Draw those arms overhead if that feels good. Again, for a deeper stretch on your lower back area. Breathing in and out. Good job. If you have your arms overhead, you walk those feet out, walk them back, draw those arms back around your torso. Inhale, as you push your hips up, release the block, and exhale down, good job. Cross that right leg over left. Wrap your feet, if this is in your practice, arms out east and west, inhale first. Exhale down to the left. Look over that right shoulder and breathe. Inhale. 
inhale back to center, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. And then cross that left leg over right, wrap your feet, arms out east and west. Inhale first, exhale down to the right as far as you can. Look over the left shoulder this time and breathe, opening up those left obliques one last time. Inhale back to center, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug and smile. Again, it's Friday, tuck in your shirts. Inhale as you push those hips up towards the ceiling or move into legs straight up. <clears throat> We're getting our circulation going in the opposite direction back down to our brain, back down to our vital organs. <laughs> Again, you can either be in a shoulder stand or leg straight up, or you can use your block to support you and leg straight up. Draw those toes overhead. If you're in a shoulder stand, possibly into Halasana or Plow Pose. Bend your knees, place them around your ears in ear pressure pose or snail pose. And then inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae, coming back down to the mat, draw those knees in for a hug. Inhale through your nose, side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso. Palms are up to receive, <laughs> down to ground. Starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your Relax your ankles, relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs, relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers, relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms, relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders, relax your necks. Relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads. Relax the crowns of your heads. <clears throat> Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths.
Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed. Hands are on to mudra. Heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that I know resides in each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Friday. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Namaste. Thank you, ladies. So glad you were all here. And I will see you Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so Bye. much, Lynn. Take Bye -bye. care. You too.